Ellen, thank you for saving all of the animals and humanity by helping them get on the Ark. Without you, the world would have been lost. I've often called Ellen the Ruach Center, the spirit center here at TBS. Her energy, her enthusiasm, her love for the kids, it comes through in everything that she does. She really knows every single child, um, and I think that's what every parent hopes, but she really does. She really cares about every kid as if they're her own. We should have bought stock in Crayola because we most certainly grew up with just a ton of projects all the time. Sometimes they were silly, Sometimes it was to create gifts, sometimes it was educational, a lot of times it was baking and cooking and singing silly songs that had to do with what we were doing. Growing up, I could definitely say that it's always been fun with my mother. She's always been this positive, bubbly, ray of light, sunshine to everybody. The things she would do as a teacher and then as a director, dressing up in funny costumes and the funny spin she used to put on everything in the workplace is the same way she was a parent and what my childhood was like. We came into each other's lives about 15 years ago and uh, we've been together ever since. I could say she's the best person that's ever really come into my life. We enjoy Bruce Springsteen together. We love going to the concerts. She's instilled a lot of my moral values that I have today, that loving and giving and putting people before herself. She's just one of the most caring people that anyone will come across. I look up to her, she's my best friend, and I'm thankful for her. I am who I am and where I am because of my mom, my values, how I prioritize family, friends. I love her sense of family, the fact that she brings everybody into our family, my family, her family, together. One of the amazing things about Ellen is that she is constantly taking a step back and saying, what can we do now? What can, we, what can we create now? And that's something really special. I mean, she's been doing this for a while. We have a great program with great teachers and great families, but she's constantly looking around saying, what's the next thing? She's great to work with. You know, it, it's just amazing that she can keep it all together. She hires the staff, she gets the children in. She's a very good salesperson. It's a lot of hugs and love and warmth. Her creativity is never ending. And I find that just amazing. Ellen is a huge part of the growth of the Eric B. Jacobs Early Childhood Education Center in attracting new families. You can see her walking around giving tours and people just want to be here and they want to send their kids here. Long before COVID, she has always had safety in mind and, and the, just the joy of making sure families and children were just had a joyful day. When I think of Ellen as an educator, I think of one of my favorite quotes by Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel. We don't need more textbooks. We've got plenty of textbooks. He said, what we need are text people. We need those educators in the classroom and running our schools that are going to help the text come alive for our children. That's what Ellen does every day. She's creative, she's artsy, she's interested in all of those things, you know, like the full child and all of their experiences, and not just about, you know, classroom learning, but really making sure everything is really well-rounded. When I first came to TBS, which is over 40 years ago, Ellen was my next door neighbor. We walked the halls together. Today we set up a farm together. We work really well together. She makes sure that she's in the classroom once or twice a day. And it's very important to her to do that. During family dinners, we still are singing the songs that she sings during her nursery school seders. And mom, we're all grown up, but she has such joy in what she does. And it carries over to everything we do with our family. <laughs> she has the most uh, extensive costume collection that I've seen. So whenever I need a, a fun hat or a costume, I go to her. There are many costumes that Ellen has uh, dressed me up in over the years, many hats that, uh, that I've worn <laughs> that have come from her endless supply in her closet. Well, it usually begins with Ellen saying, Rabbi, have I got a costume for you? 
I just put it on and <laughs> do my thing. <laughs> Children, we've got to hurry! The rain is gonna come! We need you all to come on the ark in twosies twosies! Ellen was always successful with the kids, continues to be very successful with the kids, lights up around the kids, engages with them uh, beautifully. It's not just the kids. Uh, she takes their success, but also the entire family and works with all these children and parents to make sure that they are successfully raising confident young people that grow into our community. She's really brought in a wonderful crop of young families who are just vital to all of TBS and who then get involved in sisterhood and get involved in men's club and really become part of the larger fabric here. Ellen's vision for that daycare has been remarkable and has just created such a change here at TBS. But she knew that it was a crucial component and took it on and just, she worked so hard. It was an extraordinary amount of work for Mara Ellen all the paperwork and all the logistics and all the planning and the scheduling and all those pieces, you just don't realize what goes into creating an early childhood program, certainly one as successful and as rich as the one we have here. It's all, let's make it happen, right? Let's do it, let's find a way to do it. Whether it's during this time of uh, the pandemic, trying to put together our school and to make it work, to make it happen, thinking about, well, all right, we're not able to go to Johnson's Farm to do picking like we normally would, so let's just create a, a field outside in our, in our parking lot with pumpkins, with fruit, with flowers, with all these things. Let's bring in animals that children can pet. Today I walked into work and there was a bunch of goats hanging outside in the parking lot with the, for the kids to come and pet and enjoy. Ellen, I'm so happy to speak on your behalf and to say how much I love you and enjoy working with you all these years. And you deserve this honor. Of course, I have to cry. <laughs> Ellen, I am so proud of you, of your accomplishments, and what you have created at the synagogue. Mom, I'm so proud of all you've accomplished, both in your professional and personal life, and all you've done to grow the early childhood program at TBS to what it is today. I'm so proud to be able to call you my mother, and I love you very much. Congratulations. I love you and tonight celebrating you, it's very well deserved. Ellen, on behalf of Noah, and Abraham, and Moses, and Mordechai, and everybody else who wears this costume, I wanna say, Mazel Tov.